A year ago, we asked if David Whitney could be the new Danny Boyle. Danny, famously from Radcliffe, was basking in the success of Slumdog Millionaire. David, from Bolton, was finishing his first feature film, Kandahar Break. Yeah, back then, David didn't even know if the film would be released on DVD. Now, though, it's to be shown in cinemas here and in the United States. Stuart Flinders has been back to meet him. Can you guarantee that he will not be executed? This is Kandahar Break, the story of a British mine clearance engineer pursued by the Taliban in Afghanistan. It's the first feature film by David Whitney from Bolton, and it could be the start of something big. The last time we met, David was hoping that Kandahar Break might be released straight onto DVD. But since then, it's been well received at international film festivals, and this week it'll appear at cinemas both here and in the United States. Best Film Award at the Philadelphia Independent Film Festival helped. I really didn't expect it. It was nice to be asked to go over there. They, they flew me out there and, and put me up. So I was just delighted to get a free holiday out of it, really. Uh, and then when they actually said, uh, Kandahar Break, Best, best Film, um, I, was, I was shocked. I didn't, I didn't even have a speech ready. With money from a wealthy Bolton benefactor, David assembled a cast including Dean Andrews from the BBC's Life on Mars. But what happened while filming in a remote part of Pakistan is as dramatic as the movie's storyline. We were attacked by uh, gunmen who opened fire on uh, one of their crew minibuses and, and, and shot four of the Pakistani crew. They all survived. But um, we didn't let that finish us and we went to Tunisia and finished the film there. Our highly trained support staff have delivered millions of tons of cargo. David's bread and butter, commercial films. Kandahar Break won't make him a rich man, it's a stepping stone. So what's next? Yeah, I'm working on a, a new film called Flinders, funnily enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not about you. It's uh, about Matthew Flinders who circumnavigated Australia beginning of the 19th century. Kandahar Break is showing at the Printworks in Manchester and other selected cinemas next weekend. Stuart Flinders, BBC Northwest Tonight, Bolton.